What's going on, man? Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing another upgrade to the DRZ 400 SM. In the last video, I, um, I installed the two LED turn signals in the red. So um, I did cut the wires for the brake light in the last video, but I just didn't have a third LED light to use for the brake um, and the running tail light. But that just came in today. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it for you guys and then I'm gonna get into the installation. All right, so for this installation, um, you're gonna need, so I got my LED um, light, which is right here. It actually came with two in the pack, but I'm only gonna be using one of these heat shrink butt connectors. This is what's gonna um, connect the wires in place so they can have that good connectivity, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be attached to each other. You put two wires in the middle of the um, connector and then the wires meet and then you just crimp you uh you basically um push down these things right here the teeth right here they push down on the middle of that butt connector and then it, it makes it secure like it keeps it in place so the wires don't wiggle around and lose connection and stuff like that so you're going to need some of these i got the 30 pack and I'm glad I got the 30 pack because when I was using um, when I was using these to um, do the turn signals, I kept messing up. Especially if you're a beginner like me, you're probably going to mess up a few times. So you're going to want quite a few of those. I got this tool right here as well. I think it was like eight dollars. Oh, well, it's a wire cutter, crimp tool, and a uh, wire stripper. So it's an all-in-one tool that you need right here. I forgot to get some uh, electrical tape the other day, so I just ordered this. The electrical tape is just gonna give it, you know, that over the top protection so nothing messes up the wires and stuff like that. So this was only, I think like $3 on Amazon. And how many, you get 21 yards of tape. So that's gonna be way more than enough. Like I said, it comes with two, comes with a few zip ties if you need them. This is the, the strip. It says it's like 11.8 inches long. So that should be pretty nice. Like I said, I'm gonna mount it under, like inside the fender well somewhere. But it has a black, a red, a yellow, green, and a white wire. I think it was like $16 or something like that for two lights. Yeah, so if you're interested in these, man, I'm gonna have them linked in the description down below. So I'm gonna start off by taking this rear fender off. I broke it loose just that quick. And it should be hand tight. Since I already mounted these LEDs on the fender, I'm gonna have to take, I already took the bolts out, but I'm gonna just take the seat off and try to get the fender out the way. So this would be good enough for me to um, reach these wires so I can go ahead and strip them down so I can um, start attaching the new light to it. There's a black with a white stripe, there's a gray one, and then there's a white with a black stripe. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and strip these down with the wire stripper. I'm not a professional at this, so. It might take me a few tries. There we go, one down, two more to go. All right. So this is what the wires should look like. 
like I said, about a centimeter of copper showing on each wire. On the DRZ 400 SM, man. I think it should be the same with all the DRZ 400. I'm not sure, but the black wire with the white line in it, that one is your ground. So you're going to be attaching that wire with the black LED wire that came on your light. The white with the black line in it, that wire, that is your brake light. So every time you hit the brake, you know that's the light that it gets a little brighter. And the gray wire, it's, it says brown on the diagram, but the tip of it says gray. So I'm not sure if, um, like, you know, further down in it turns brown, I'm not sure. But the tip of it is gray on the diagram, and it's the same right here. So the gray one, that's the running tail light. So even, you know how you turn the bike on and the tail light's on? So that's that right there. I found on what each wire does, cause you're gonna need that to install that with your wires that's on your bike. So like I said before, the black one is the ground. Um, the red one is the running tail light. The yellow one, is the right turn signal, the green one is your left turn signal, and the white one is the brake light. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach the red. So in, this, in my case, I'm not gonna be using the green or the yellow turn signal wires. I'm gonna be using these three wires right here, which is the ground, the running light, in the brake light. So I'm gonna attach this black wire to my ground wire. I'm gonna attach the red wire to the running, the running light wire on my bike. And I'm gonna attach the brake light wire to the other brake light wire. I got the wires ready to be um, connected with a butt connector. So I decided to, to just strip all of them because I'm like, all right, if you can see, the light is like halfway red light and halfway yellow light. So um, I'm not sure if the whole thing lights up red, but I don't think so because it's half and half. So just so I don't waste half of the light, I'm probably going to um, wire the brake light. I'm gonna make it where as though the yellow side and the red side lights up the bridge. So I'm gonna put the green, white, and yellow wires together. All right, so I just put those three wires inside of a butt connector um, together. So they're basically halfway through to the other side. And that's, that's perfect because once I put the other wire in there, it's gonna be touching those wires and in the middle of the butt connector that's where i crimp it so it's going to crush that metal and it's going to be contacting the wire so it's always going to have you know a, um, a flow of energy through there All right, so I got all of the wires with a butt connector on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lighter to the end of these and heat shrink them so they can stay put once I put them on the bike. All right, so I couldn't really show it on camera because the wind was um, not trying to let the lighter um, keep a flame, but all right, as you can see, like one end is, you know, 
shrink heat heat shrunk up already. And it should um keep the wires in place like that. The black one with the the black and white one. Alright, it should go in nice and easy. Don't try to force it. Cause if you're trying to force it, that means the other wire might be getting messed up or something like that. So just um you know take your time and just make sure it goes in pretty nice. Now the gray is the running light. So the gray you're gonna be connecting that with the red. All right, so before you start heat shrinking, it's, it's probably a good idea to um, to crimp them first. I crimp mines in like three places, but make sure the middle, make sure you do the middle first, for sure. So they all crimped up. It's probably a good idea to, um, once you connect and crimp the um, wires together, to turn the ignition of the bike on to test out to see if the lights work. All right, so we can see that the running lights is on. That's good. I know I'm probably going to want to mount it under the fender, like on the wheel well. Yeah, right there. So I'm probably going to run the wires around this. back down like that. But it's a part of the frame right here. So, it's a lot of wire to work with. So I'm gonna shorten it up a bit. Should still reach. Yeah, this one, that's more okay. Yeah, so that's gonna be perfect right here. Tied around there like that. Probably needs another one just to be safe. Of this colorful wire right here, I'm gonna wrap up in electrical tape. I don't want like you know a rock or something to uh, mess up the wire.
got the damn light mounted on the bottom of, whoa, under the fender, the wheel well. That thing is on there and it looks way cleaner than before. I'm so glad that that damn big giant little wheel fender is off of there. Um, I'm happy with, you know, with the LED setup right now making it look way cleaner, man. I can't wait to do some more upgrades, man. I got some got some more upgrades on the way right now as we speak, you know what I'm saying? So I can't wait to bring those to the channel. And like I said, man, this it comes with two LED lights for like $17, man. So I'm gonna have a link in the description. Make sure you guys cop up. I appreciate everybody watching, man. And stay tuned for the next video, man. I'm gone. It's Suzuki Cell, and I'm signing out.